Welcome to Mathematics 7, Week 1. And our module topic for the day is about set. So what is our expectation on this course? This self-regulated learning course is a source of information and guide in understanding the most essential learning competencies, or MELC. Understanding the target contents and skills can be further enriched through the K-12 learning materials and other supplementary materials such as interactive and gamified activities. After completing this week course, you are expected to illustrate well-defined sets, subsets, universal sets, null set, cardinality of sets, union, and intersection of sets, and the different of two sets. Go to definition of sets and example. Set is represented as a group of well-defined elements or objects. Let's have an example. A set of fruits. Set F. Set of coins. And D for set of even numbers. So that is what we call a well-defined elements or objects. Elements. So what is an element? A equals set of fruits. So I mean to say set A is composed of set of fruits. And what are the elements? Elements in set A are apple, grapes, watermelon, lemon, avocado, banana, and kiwi. So those are elements. F. Set F. Set of coins. So what are the elements? Elements in set F is 1 cent, 5 cents, 25 cents, 1 peso, and 5 pesos. How about and set D? Set of even numbers. Elements in set D are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So those are the elements. So let's have a, a short note about elements. The written element in the set may be arranged in any sequence, but they cannot be repeated. So that is a no-no, but cannot be repeated. Another note, in the case of alphabets, each element of the set is represented by a small letter only. Because the capital letter is used for set, to represent the set. For small letters, we use uh, the elements. We, it is used for the elements. So elements may be written as, example, in set A, apple, the symbol for element is this symbol. Apple element A. Read as, apple is an element of A. So banana is an element of A. Grapes is an element of A. Watermelon is an element of A. Lemon is an element of A. Avocado is an element of A. Banana is an element of A. And kiwi is an element of A. In set F, 1 cent is an element of F. 5 cents is an element of F. 25 cent is an element of F. 1 peso is an element of F. 5 pesos is an element of F. And in set D, 2 is an element of D, 4 is an element of D, 6 is an element of D, 8 is an element of D, 10 is an element of D, and 12 is an element of D, and lastly, 14 is an element of D. This is how element is written. How about sets? Okay, so as mentioned, uh, small letter is for elements. You are going to write it. Uh, uh, capital letter stands for a set. Meaning to say, example, set A uh, is written in capital letter. Set F and set D. Sets are represented in curly braces. So this is the symbol for uh, sets, the curly braces. Okay, so as you can see, we have the curly braces. Example, set apple. Grapes, watermelon, lemon, avocado, banana, and kiwi. Set, 1 cent, 5 cents, 25 cents, 1 peso, 5 pesos. Another set, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So this is how we use the curly brace, braces and this is how uh, capital letter is used for set. 
So what is cardinal number? A set's cardinal number is the total number of elements in its finite components. So I mean to say total number of elements. So I mean to say you're going to add all the numbers or count it. For example, apple, set A is composed of apple, grapes, watermelon, lemon, avocado, banana, and kiwi. So set A, cardinal number is 7. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are cardinal number which is 7 for set A. How about for another set? Okay, set F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the cardinal number of set F is 5. How about for set D? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the cardinal number is 7 for set D. So that is how we get the cardinal number. Let's proceed to learning task 1. 